Is this thing on? Oh, shoot. All right. Hey, hi, uh, Team Quadzilla. So, you know how I like to journal? And I've shared some of that before. And I wanted to share with you something that's pretty personal, but I think it might give you some encouragement. So, I've been thinking a lot lately about fear, in particular the fear of failure, which um, I happen to have. And kind of along the same lines, this idea of the roller coaster ride that uh, we sometimes take where we feel like we're making great progress and um, getting to our goal, whatever that is. Um, let's say it's a, a fitness goal maybe or, or a nutrition goal or beating a bad habit. I've shared quite a bit about bad habits recently. And you feel like you're making progress and you get all the way up you know, where you think you've just about got it licked and then something stupid happens and you basically fall off the cliff and kind of bottom out and you feel really bad and you think all is lost and um, you don't know what to do and you just feel like a complete failure. You've totally derailed. And this, Like I said, this could be um, a fitness goal, it could be a personal goal, it could be breaking a bad habit, maybe it's a relationship issue or, or whatever. Uh, so just bear with me. Um, it got me thinking about a story from my childhood and I actually wrote it in my journal the, this morning and as I was writing it I'm like this is actually pretty good maybe and so I thought maybe I would share it with you. Um, I hope it's not too awkward that I'm going to read to you but um, anyway just think of this story in terms of um, riding that roller coaster of um, failing and then picking yourself back up and trying to get back up to where you were again and kind of fearing failure because of what happens when when you do and you know how do you overcome that and how do you make your relationships better or break that bad habit or achieve the goal that you're you're trying to achieve all right so this is about me <clears throat> learning how to ride a bicycle um, it's probably 1979 or so I'm five years old all right so it says here um, I'm trying to learn how to ride a bike and a dog has dug a hole in the backyard it's just a small hole and so what I would do is I prop my bike up on the side of the house and, and then I would climb on it on the bike and then push off from the wall in order to get started. I didn't have any help, I was all by myself. And for whatever reason, it seems like I could only turn left, and so I would go from the side of the house and around to the backyard, and all by myself on my big two-wheeler, and headed straight for this little hole that the dog had dug in the backyard. I'm telling you, I must have hit that hole in the backyard a dozen times. A small hole in this giant backyard and my path around there went to the same place every time and so I'm, I'm laying there <laughs> I'm five years old I'm laying there uh, with my bike on top of me kind of in a, in a heap next to this hole that my bike had fallen into and I'm asking myself a really obvious question as a five-year-old how do I finally manage to get out of the hole in the backyard? Okay, so this is a really long time ago obviously and I'm a little bit sketchy on the details but I do remember sitting there asking myself this question. I studied my circumstance, my situation, I analyzed it and I decided that the only way I was going to get around this hole is to do something different right before I get to the hole. Change my course. But I didn't really know how. Remember, I'm just trying to figure out how to ride a bike and my path takes me right to this hole every time and I don't know what to do about it. 
I only knew how to steer into the hole. I knew I had to be brave and be strong and determined to do it different next time because it was getting really old to repeat the same course and to get the same lousy result. Laying in a heap with my bike on top of me next to the hole in the backyard. Was it my bike's fault that I kept falling into this hole? Obviously not. The bike only goes where I tell it to go. Can I blame the dog for digging the hole that I keep falling into? That's pointless too. The dog doesn't care. He's just doing what dogs do. The only way I was going to figure out this bike thing was to change my action. It's up to me. So I dusted myself off, got back on my bike again. Now this bike, it was a red BMX bike with the knobby tires and a coaster brake. So I could make some pretty epic skids in the gravel road in front of the house someday. I got to the side of the house. I pushed off, mustering up all the courage that I could, determined that this time was going to be different. But I was, I was a little bit afraid though at the same time. I didn't want to crash again. It kind of hurt even though I was falling in the grass. I was pretty smart though to practice riding bikes in the grass, right? Make for a nice soft landing. But I was still getting tired of it. And it was all by myself. I didn't have anybody to help me. I didn't have any pointers or tips or tricks or anything. I was just trying to figure this out by myself. I'm sure that my mom was watching uh, through the window, uh, but she didn't come out. She didn't rescue me. She didn't say anything. She was just watching me handle this on my own. But here's the other thing. My younger brother, Ryan, had already figured out how to ride a bike before me. And I was mad. I'm supposed to be first. I'm the older brother. So I'm really highly motivated. I must learn now because I can't have my younger brother be better than me. And I'm really tired and frustrated by landing in the same place every time. I must do this. My reasons to succeed to beat this, to be better, to achieve this goal, were stronger than my fear of crashing again. So I went for it. Around the house into the backyard. A well-worn path was easy to follow by now. I was a pro at this path, but this time it was going to be different. I could see the trouble coming the whole time, and I'm thinking to myself, I gotta turn, I gotta turn but I've never really turned before. I, I don't know how to do it. Afraid, but even more determined, somehow I turned at the last second and made it past the hole into a whole new territory. No worn path, no idea where I was going next. It was exhilarating. Honestly, I don't really recall what happened next. I probably found my way around the yard with new confidence hooping and hollering like a cowboy on his trusty steed until I found a safe place where I could stop to run into the house and tell my parents that I did it. There's no prouder moment for that five-year-old, I'm telling you. So let me, let me close up with this. One, one more idea. Did I ever go back to that hole again? through that well-worn path around the house and right into the hole? Nope. I never fell in that hole again. I moved on. That was the past, and I learned from it. In a very short time after that, I'm racing up and down the street, laying down a sweet skid in front of my parents with a video camera in hand. You should see this video. It's quite hysterical. So there you go. There's my story and the answer for getting out of a tired old pattern. Whether it's a pattern of uh, some kind of a bad habit, whether it's the 
the failure of not achieving your goal, uh, maybe it's a health and fitness goal or a professional goal or a personal goal, maybe it's a relationship issue where you keep running into the same kind of thing. It's kind of a long story, but at the same time, um, I think it applies. The five-year-old boy choosing, mustering up the courage to change his direction is really what it takes for you to get over that hump. So, is there a hole in your backyard? Identifying it is the first step, and then changing your course. You can do it. I hope that's encouraging to you, because it's, uh, it's been fun to put together and fun to think about, and uh, I hope to be able to apply it to myself. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.